The ignition switch on the CRV is locking up, so we're gonna replace it. Got the new unit here. Uh, comes with a new breakaway bolt. So in order to actually get this out, I'm gonna use a Dremel tool. So the first step is you've gotta remove some plastic stuff. Pull up on that upper shroud. This bottom one more or less kind of falls out. Now we can get a good look at it. There is the back end of the bolt there. So it's actually where I have my finger here, that's where I have to cut. I'm gonna remove this plastic shroud as well. She has to change the, 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 the brake hose and shit too. Yeah. So, so you can't you just change the caliper? I was like, uh, no ma'am. I can't. Oh, 1900. Thing is on my nerves. You mean disconnect the battery? Nah. Might not have the radio code. There we go. Gotta trace the wires, disconnect them. It's like they're up behind the fuse box. Oh, uh, in the, in the, under the hood? No, uh, under the fuse box in the back. Got it. So there's one, yep. Oh, there's two cables. There's what actually three. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's three cables. Two brown ones and a silver one. Yeah. So there's one of the brown cables. The wide one, there's like a little smaller wide one. Here's the other cable. And there's like a short square looking silver one. And the other one goes into the front of the fuse box right here. There's the other brown one. Is that, the, is that the little silver one? Huh? Is that the little gray one? Now you gotta get the other wider brown one. Oh, there it is. Bam, Eureka. Got it disconnected. Now it's time to Dremel. I'm just gonna cut the bolt right in half. And also, I'm gonna cut a groove in this part.
Awesome. Better find that piece before it starts to fire. Burn something. There we go. So now in theory I should be able to turn this part out as well. So to finish removing the ignition switch, make sure that the key is in it in position one and take a small pick like so and push it down onto the hole at the top. That pushes the pin down and at that point you should be able to wiggle it out. This is the actual pin that you're pushing on here. So you just push that down and it should be able to come right out. I've got the old part out. This is the tool I used. Basically I took this tool, I went up through here at this angle, found the hole and pushed down. There's the hole right there. Basically you push down on this pin while you're wiggling this out and it should pop right out. Make sure that the key is in the number one position. When you throw it up in there, you'll have to push down on the pin. There we go. Here's the new bolt, it's an 8 millimeter. Tighten it until it breaks off. All right, so now the key will come out with ease.